you touched on this a little bit, the, uh, the unbalanced uh, estrogen tying to breast cancer. Why is there a connection there into just that one part of the body? Why is that tied so much? What's going on? Well, happens? I mean, it, it, could be, it could be uterine cancer also. But um, it, it's a lot to do with the fact that the, the breast still has primordial cells in it. They still have stem cells in it that are, are going to be sensitive to, to estrogens. And again, the estrogens uh, levels, you generally tend to get too high. But it's, it's not that simple just to say, okay, estrogen is associated with breast cancer mm -hmm. because the Women's Health Initiative study showed that when women take a... Um, uh, conjugated estrogen, you know, the, um, the horse urine basically mm -hmm. is what it is, that they actually have a lower incidence of breast cancer. Their mm -hmm. breast cancer incidence is about half. So that's kind of the angel of, that's the angel of life when, you, when you've got it in the right concentration. So um, it's, not, it's not just estrogen that's associated with breast cancer. In the book that I wrote with John Lee, we talked about all the different factors that come into play and everything everything sort of sort of moves towards what it's doing to estrogen. And um, a good colleague, Erko Cavalieri, uh, has published research showing that it's really, it's, it's estrogen metabolites that are responsible. So it's not estradiol. Okay. It's an oxidized form of estradiol. So it's a lot of things that you do that happen in your life. And I think the, you know, the last hit is some uh, emotional thing that occurs that causes adrenal dysfunction, causes mm -hmm. a lowering of uh, DHEA and an increase of cortisol, particularly at night, that tends to, tends to flatline. But there are many things that, that occur, and that causes immune dysfunction. So it's, it's all these things. It's this domino effect that's starting to come into play. But the one, one, the one thing I would say in talking to women about who develop breast cancer is there is some stressor in their life that occurs probably about two years before the cancer shows up. And it's the type of stressor that you don't have any control over. It's mm. not the stress of, you know, I've got a really tough job, I've mm. got, you know, I've got to get my kids to soccer. It's, a, it's the kind of stress, it's loss of a loved one, and, you know, it's job loss, you know. Mm. It's just those kind of things that you just don't have control over. Mm. That seems to be associated with, with cancer risk more than anything.